what I'm saying? Right. It's just a little piece though, but I can feel it in my tonsils. Are right, you ready? Yeah, get back right there and focus one more time. So I'm gonna make sure it's like it's real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like right back here. Right along with America, you got to come back to keep God's laws. All right, so we're currently on 75th and Phillips in the city, man. We out here to let our people know it's time to come back to the laws. So give us that thing. This is Psalm 110, verse 3. Come. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Right, so our people are going to be willing in the day of power, man. When the Most High put us on top, man. They're going to be willing to get this truth, knowledge, and understanding. Read. And the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Psalms 3. Done. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Right, so right now, don't nobody want to come back to the laws of the most high man everybody is busy man look at the prices look at the price of gas man you ain't got nowhere to go all right our people are willing right now to do all stuff for a man of evil exactly they want to scheme these brothers they can make all these people right but they ain't willing to suffer you know uh, uh, suffer all types of humiliation for the kingdom. They, they ain't willing to do that. Yeah, because they not built for that, man. Our people, they got so much pride that they couldn't even see themselves in that in that predicament. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, when, when those missiles, when you get hit by a nuke, that's your judgment, man. All right? Three. All right. And the beauty is the holiness from the womb of the morning. Right. Thou hast the of thy youth. The of thy youth, man. Like the scripture says, it says, remember, one of our Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. We're not in your way, is we? Nah, I'm just waiting. Okay, how you doing, sister? Who's that Hey you, got, hey, you got a moment to hear the word. We out here to wake our people up. Nah, I don't have to say that. I'm not going to do that. All right. All right. All right. This is the key to ask me. Well, verse 1. Uh, Remember now thy creator. You got what? In the days of thy youth. Right, so we got to remember our creator in our in our youth, man. When we young, read. While the evil days come not. Right, because our four, our mothers, man, and our grandparents, they they, they did they dirt when they was in their twenties and thirties. And right. then they get in their fifties and sixties, they want to turn their life around to God, man. And which God is you talking, man? While the evil days come not, uh -huh. nor the years draw nigh. But so now we're in the time that the years are drawing now, man. That America will be destroyed, man. When thou shalt say, I am no pleasure in them. Right, so, I mean, you know that they got pleasure in certain places, man. Right. You know, we said we got, we, we don't have pleasure in, 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 um, in the cares of this world. All right, it's, it's Saturday, man. What are our people doing? They're going to go to the drug line. They're going to find some church, man, to go to all, man. And then the Jake, that's the drug dealer, he's going to find some corner and sell some weed. Yeah. That's why our people, they OD and I'm protecting all. And they, you know what I'm saying, they putting all that stuff in these pills and stuff like that. Right? And that's good judgment, man. That's good judgment of the most high, man. You know? Yeah, I'm 
Uh, verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds become after the rain. So while, you know, destruction is here yet, you know, because if you look in Ukraine, there's their skies of darkness, their cities are destroyed, you know, their women and children are bruised up, you know, bandages, bandages all throughout their bodies, their hospitals, you know, are all ransacked. The soldiers are in conflict with each other, you know? Right. And that's all coming over here to America, man. Jake, Jake is so comfortable like you. Like they act like the whole America is Miami, right? Like he, this is the whole, America is the whole Florida. This is, we, we living in, man, come on, we struggling, man. You got trash all over there. The, the, the concrete, the, 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 uh, the architect of these buildings is out of order. It's like, look, we living in turmoil right now, man. And the so called white man, he saw him. He was a good guy. 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 He was all right, this is a, this is a, a good service that we do when coming out here waking up you, you, you lost people, man. You lost people in the house of Israel, man. And we put our bodies as a living sacrifice. Right. We got people out of our house, feeding in the midst of this, uh, unclean air. Toxic air, toxic atmosphere. Yeah. And we out here, but get that out. Get that new stuff to the city, man. Because you, 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 you see, uh, you be daily peons and you fake Christians, you love to say you love God. And you are a follower of Jesus Christ, man. Which is not even his real name. It's his real name. Uh, it's his real name. It's Yahweh Shah, man. You say you follow him, but you don't do nothing that he told you to, man. But we out here doing what he told us to do, man. And we not fair, man. That, that Negro who told us to shut the F up when we bring out the scriptures, the most high gonna destroy him if he on the pit, man. Alright? Because judgment is going out swiftly, man. Judgment is going out swiftly, man, whether you like it or not. Because if you're on one side and you're not on the side of the most high, you have to, you like it's like you lining yourself up as the enemy of the house shot. So you gotta be taken out, buddy. Right. This is Luke 14, verse 23. Yeah. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highway and head, yeah. and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Right, so we on the highway and the hedges right here, right now. All right, we on the, there's a road right where we at, man. Right, we right here in the chief place of concourse, man. Uh, you know, Psalms 55. Right. I'm going to show, show you something, brother. Yeah, next you know, we, we are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. You know, they have to prove that you see right here in the church. Let me show you something, brother. They teach the state because they don't teach us that you go to church. They teach us that you go to church. That you are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Because they, the church is our country. They say it's because of the church. No, 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 no. Then they're going to say you're cursed. The black here. This is Psalm 50 in verse 5. Gather my saints together. So the saints is the people on that side, the so called blacks. Latinos and Native American Indians, man. Those are the people that's on the bottom of society right now. Read. Unto me, Read. those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Right, so all nations that made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice. Right. All right.
right? We got the sacrifice, we got the burnt offering, we got the all covenant. He was the ultimate sacrifice when he died on that cross. So what nation was he? He was not a he was not a Roman. No, he was not a Israelite. He was an Israelite. He was Israelite. So right down there, he was the original Hebrew, right? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get some laws, brother. You ever heard of the fringes? So yeah, they they touched uh, who they call Jesus, uh, his fringes, and the woman was healed. You know. It's the end. When he said to the, to the disciples that, like he didn't know, but he was saying it to, to bring faith out in their understanding. Right. Who touched me? Because Duminos, which is translated as dynamite, means power went out from him and healed her. And you got to remember, she was unclean because she had the issue of blood all those years. Everybody in town knew she was unclean. And they knew that if she touched one of them, they could be so she said, I got to go right there. The only place that I could. She got on her hands. She said, if you're broken, I can do it. And she's not denied. So she got down, she crawled in. Her face. Yeah. And then she got the touch. You knew you touched me. She's out of your face. Yeah, but it's out of your face. She's out of your face. She's out of your face. Numbers uh, 15 and uh, they have taken so much of the, of the real spiritual understanding out of this generation that they don't even believe to the flesh. Numbers 15 and verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make their fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what it represents right here. Read. Verse 39. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend Read. that ye may look upon it. Yeah, look upon the friend of the borders. Oh, uh, flock I was at 39. Uh, Hold on. I'll be reading that for 38 pounds. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, mm -hmm. and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it in the sister all the commandments of the Lord. So we gotta remember the commandments, man. Okay. Let me right give you a commandment. Leviticus 11 and 7. It's spiritual, but it's physical as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, when you fall short from keeping the commandments, that's when grace comes in. But you can't just use grace and not keep the commandments. Yeah, this is Leviticus 11 and 7. In the spine, though he divides the earth and he closes for it, yet he doing not good.
you being yeah. called African American, right? Really? Exactly. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. You saying it like you are the sons. This is the book of Job 33. My is black upon me. And my are to me. So Job is telling you that he's a brother, man. He said, my skin is black upon me. Come on, man. Read, read that again. That's the KJV. Um, I, I have to call you back when I get back into the house. Job 33rd, my skin is black upon me, and my bones are burnt with heat. Right, so this is Job, now go to Acts 13 and 1. We're going to show you all the black people in the Bible. We're going to show you so-called black men in the Bible saying that they're so-called black. Acts 13 and 1, now say a word in the church that was at Antioch, Certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. And they called him what? Nigger. So we already know the word nigger is a Latin word that means black, man. Black. Mm -hmm. All right. So they was even calling them niggers back in the day. All right. Read. And Lucius of Cyrene. And Lucius of Cyrene, man. Cyrene is African. Like North Africa like that. And they sold him black. Because when you go into the, matter of fact, look up uh, Acts 13 and 1 and the, uh, and New Liver Translation. Watch this for the picture. And so you can see the Liver Sinia was Jesus. He's the in the New Living Translation, it's gonna say it a little different, but you know sometimes they, yeah, sometimes, sometimes when you read those scriptures in the Living Translation, it'll, it'll make it more valid. But we we stick to the KJV, stick to the Bible. Uh, uh, NLT and Acts thirteen and one. Among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch, Assyria, were Barnabas, Simeon, called the black man. What they call him? Called black. the black man. They called him the black man. And he was already Hebrew Israelite. Come on. <laughs> so right there just shows you that the Hebrews are black. Right. So-called black. The black man, they called him. They called him the black man. Look it up in the NIV. Let's see what it says in the NIV. So that right there shows you that the Jews were originally black. You know? We're gonna show you some more, brother. We're gonna show you some more. We got a whole lot of more. It is Acts 13 and the NIV, verse 1. Now in the church at Antioch there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, uh, Simeon called nigger. See, that go the N word right there again. See? So they can't take that word back from us, man. Because they was calling us that. And the Jewish people have never been called niggas. Okay. All right, brother. Uh, 
Solomon. Take my number. Yeah, take my number. So, you know, just get the same text. Yeah, get together because they're dying. Say, call Hello, Yahweh, Shinawashai, and with that, death to America. Death to America. 